One of the most commonly asked questions is what's the difference between an umbrella and a deep umbrella? In reality, the umbrella is a fairly inefficient modifier. It doesn't allow us a lot of control over where our light goes. When we look at the deep umbrella, because of its flat sides, it enables us to control the light and feather like a softbox across our subject. I'm going to show you a couple of setups with the 125cm deep umbrella. The first two shots we're going to use just as a bare silver umbrella. On the third shot, we'll put a diffuser cover on the back which will allow it to make more of a softbox style image. The first setup we'll look at is using a technique called butterfly lighting. We'll light from above, we'll let the light fall across the subject's face and we will create shadows under the chin and a little butterfly sized shadow under the nose. The second image we'll create will be a more conventional position of the light, 45 degrees to the subject but feathered across to create some shape and three dimensionality to the image. The third and final image we'll create today will be using the same setup as the second image but with the addition of a diffuser on the back of the umbrella. This will enable the umbrella to be used more like a softbox. It will also allow you to do in-camera skin smoothing at the same time, saving you time in post-production. I hope that's answered your questions about the differences between shallow and deep umbrellas. The bottom line is, it gives you a lot more control over the light when you're lighting your subject.